What's up guys, my name is Joe and welcome to episode one of Budget Breakdown. The point of Budget Breakdown is to go through some of the big name hair care brands out there and find out if their brand and the products that they sell is good, kind of good, or not so good. We're debuting this new series with uh, our first big brand, V05, but when it comes to future episodes of Budget Breakdown, we're gonna make uh, videos based off of your recommendations. So recommend any brands that you wanna see in the future Budget Breakdown, and uh, we'll get on it. So V05 is a fairly recognizable brand, but they are especially big in Europe, and especially, especially big in the UK. You can find them on Amazon, your local superstore, your local drugstore, they're pretty much everywhere. The question is, as an affordable and accessible hair care brand, is V05 any good? And when it comes to reviewing products like this, it's important to keep price point in mind. I've got four of their products with me and they all cost roughly the same, just over four pounds, which is about $5.50. So in other words, pretty cheap, pretty standard drugstore pricing. When it comes to the entire line, it becomes evident that VO5 has done their best to make all of their styling products seem part of the same family. And in my opinion, there are so many similarities, it becomes a little bit boring. But let me explain. I picked four different products that are meant to have different levels of hold and provide different finished results. For example, when you take a look at these three right here, they almost look identical. They all look completely white, they all look kind of creamy, and even though the scents vary a little, they are fairly light, and I can tell that VO5 went for a neutral, inoffensive scent for, for all of them. And when I was testing all these products out, uh, the three in the jar all broke down and spread through my hands in a very similar way. Without testing any of these products, you might assume from the way that they look that they all do the same thing. Now they don't, but personally, I prefer a little bit more visual separation. The next thing I wanted to talk about is how well do the descriptions on the VO5 products match the actual hairstyling effect that you get. For example, if it says super high hold and matte finish, am I getting a super high hold and a matte finish? That's what I wanna know. So I'll walk you through my findings with these four products. The first is the texturizing gum, which claims that it shapes hair and has an extra firm hold. That said, when you actually look down here at the rating scale, it has a three out of five, so I'm not sure why they've got a three out of five, but then it also says extra firm hold. But anyways, breakdown and application is super simple. And uh, I kind of expected that from a medium hold product. Application is also really smooth with practically no tug and pull at all. But what I found as a result of using the product was actually quite a bit of shine. And I think VO5 was a little bit sneaky here because they didn't specify on the jar how much shine or how much of matte of a product that this should be. It just doesn't give any indication. But on the other three VO5 products, they all say that they're meant to be a matte finish. This doesn't say anything, but happens to be a shine finish. I think that VO5 knows that shine products don't sell as well as matte products, and therefore they decided not to say anything. That's just a little hunch. That said, I'm not saying that this is a bad product. I'm just saying you should know who it's meant for. The next one I tried was the matte rework paste, claiming to be a matte finished product and have five out of five hold on the little spectrum thing they've got going on. Now I feel like this one was pretty accurate. A paste, yep, it looks and feels kind of pasty. Matte finish, yeah, there's a tad bit of shine at first, but it dries up pretty quick and it becomes fully matte. And strong hold, yeah, in fact, the first time I used it, I used a bit too much because the hold is pretty serious, so you don't need to use that much with this product. So yeah, it all sounds good, but there's a little bit more to the hold than just it's strong. The hold reminds me of a lot of cheaper drugstore hair products in that, yes, it manages to give a fairly strong hold, but my hair feels a little plasticky and a little crispy. It's almost like I mixed a hair wax with a hair gel. I get some reworkability and it never fully dries up, but it does feel a little artificial and a little stuck together. And this is just something that I've noticed uh, as a difference between cheaper products and more high-end products. That said, for the money, the description lines up very well with the actual effect that the product gives. Next up, I've got matte fiber. Now, matte fiber, according to the description, seems like it's meant to act a lot like the matte rework paste, 
uh, but instead of having a five out of five hold, it says it has a four out of five hold on the whole spectrum thing. And I gotta say a bit of a theme that seems to be developing is that yes, a number of these products seem to be very similar to each other. And we'll touch on more of that at the end. But this says it's a four out of five hold. Uh, I think it's actually pretty weak. I'd give it more of a two out of five hold. I think it's even weaker than the texturizing gum uh, that we started this video off with. It pretty much feels like a diluted version of the matte rework paste, the uh, five out of five one. And as for the fourth and final product from the VO5 line before we get to the consensus of the brand as a whole, we've got matte styling paste. VO5 uh, clearly getting very creative with their naming structure. This one's a little surprising and definitely the most different out of the four that we've got here. The matte styling paste was much creamier, kind of like a suntan lotion consistency when it breaks down and it applies a little wet as well. That said, it also says it's a five out of five hold on the jar and you get, you just put it in, you give it 10 seconds and this will start to firm up real quick. It goes in a little wet, like I said, but it actually becomes quite sticky and tuggy, definitely much more than the previous three. And because of that, I'd only really recommend this for people who have really thick hair, for people out there who don't really mind a bit of tug and pull. After getting the product through my hair though, I was quite happy with the results of this product. It does feel like a stronghold product, but it also feels a little bit more natural than the previous five out of five hold product that I showed to you guys. Now that we've gone over four products in the VO5 line, and I think that four products should be suffice to kind of get a general sense of the brand as a whole. The question is, is VO5 good, kind of good, or not so good? I know that I gave quite a few critiques throughout this video, but the category that VO5 is competing with, and what we have to remember, is budget drugstore products. And for that category, I would say that VO5 is actually pretty good. Granted, there's a couple that I prefer over others, but you're gonna get that with any hair product brand, uh, uh, yeah, except Bloom on. I think for cheap products, VO5 has done as good a job as they can to make their products feel nice to the touch, nice to break down, and nice to apply. I'll even give them props in the scent department because so often cheaper products just have a terrible chemically scent. And I feel like VO5 has done a really good job to mask that chemically scent and just smell kind of kind of light and non-obtrusive. However, another critique comes to these three products and I've talked about this a little bit now. It became very evident over the testing of these products that they're actually not that different from each other. My guess is that VO5 found a formula that they liked and then just tweaked tiny things here and there to make three different products to grow their skew. Now they are kind of different from each other, but the, the overall experience of using these products feels pretty much the same. With that said though, weighing everything up, uh, all the pros, all the cons, VO5 gets the Bloom On seal of approval for being a good budget, good drugstore budget, for, for being good within the budget drugstore department. With that said guys, remember to leave a comment saying which a brand you'd like to see next time on Budget Breakdown, leave it down below. We'll pick a popular option. Um, hope that you guys like this video, and I'll see everybody next time.